let me start by saying that this list is one of the shittiest lists that we have ever had. Welcome back to another video. This really popped when I saw it. That to me is a monster increase. Again, this book got hot. This book is ready to go higher. So let's jump right into it. We are back today with another statue review from Diamond Select Toys. Without further ado, let's get into the review. What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and we are back with another video today here on the channel. You guys know what day it is. It is time for the Hot 10 Breakdown of the Week. If you guys aren't familiar with what I do in this video, I take the 10 hottest comics according to the Key Collector app and I break them down for you one by one, letting you guys know if I'm a buyer here at these prices or if I be staying away. If you guys haven't heard, I'm giving away an Iron Man 1 once we get to 5,000 subs. So do me a favor, go ahead, click that subscribe button for me, tap that like button, button comment down below because i always enjoy hearing from you guys here on the channel with that said let's get into this week's breakdown at number 10 this week is a copy of the authority number one and the premier issue of science fiction series created by warren ellis and brian hitch and a cgc 9.6 just sold last week for 164 bucks up 26 percent since april we also had a cgc 9.4 sale for 135 bucks up 160 percent over the average again i'm not too familiar with this book regardless i can tell you right now seeing that a 9.4 and a 9.6 are selling for under 200 dollars tells me it's a book i do not want own hey if you know more about the book if you're into it do yourself a favor go ahead and grab it but for me i'm just not interested Next on the list at the 9 spot is a copy of The Last of Us American Dreams number 1 and the prequel comic book series released 2 months prior to the video game launch in a CGC 9.8 just sold last week for 1299 bucks up 2% over the average but this is down from the high of the past 3 weeks of 1500 bucks I told you guys last week I wasn't a buyer and I'm still not a buyer right now there's a show going on I haven't seen the show but a lot of people are comparing this book to The Walking Dead number one. And I think that remains to be seen. Either way, I don't want to shell out $1,300 or even $1,500 for a 9.8 copy of this book. At the eight spot this week is a copy of Something is Killing the Children number one and the first appearance of Erica Slaughter and a CGC 9.8 just sold last week for 815 bucks, up 12% over the average. Now, I told you guys last week, there is a series in development over at Netflix, and right now for around 800 bucks, I don't think this book is badly priced at a 9.8, and at a 9.8 is the only copy that I want to own. Like I said, we have a long time before that show comes out, but that if that show is a hit, this book could skyrocket, but for me, I'm not into the series, I'm not into the modern book, I'm staying away. For, for you guys, like I said last week, it may be a maybe. Coming in at number 7 this week is a copy of Batman Adventures number 12 and the first appearance of Harley Quinn and a CGC 9.6 just sold last week for 1183 bucks, up 7% over the average. But that's not it. We also had a CGC 9.0 sale for 749 bucks, up 12% over the average. Now, I'm not going to deny that this book seems to keep going up. I'm not a huge fan of this book. You guys know that. I'd rather have Harley Quinn number 1 the first time she's in DC continuity. But regardless, I know a lot of people out there love this book and this character. I'm not a buyer of this book, but hey, if you are, I only want to own a 9.8, but nothing less. Stay away from the 9.6, 9.4. It's just not worth it. Coming in at the sixth spot this week is a copy of Strange Adventures number 205 and the first appearance of the Dead Man, a ghost with the ability to possess the living, and a CGC 8.0 just sold last week for 1200 bucks, up 13% over the average we also had a cgc 6.5 sale for 650 bucks up 13 percent over the average again a nice cool silver age key i do love this cover i'm not into the character though and i can't see myself spending 1200 dollars on the first appearance of the dead man but i know a few people who are willing to pay up for this book but it's just not my thing i'm giving it a thumbs down at the five spot this week is a copy of swamp thing number one and the first appearance and origin of the second swamp thing Alec Holland. I know a lot of people out there are saying that this is the Swamp Thing they're going to use when he eventually shows up in the DCU. And a CGC 
8.0 just sold last week for only 300 bucks up 3% over the average we also had a cgc 6.0 sale for 225 bucks up 44 percent over the average man people really believe in this book i'll say it again i want to own house of secrets 92 not swamp thing number one i think that's the better buy and that's the one i'd actually go after it's also a classic cover by bernie reinson i'm not a huge fan of this one it's a thumbs down Coming in at number four on this week's list is a copy of All-Star Comics number 58 and the first appearance of Power Girl, a Kryptonian cousin of Earth 2 Superman, and a CGC 9.0 just sold last week for 300 bucks, up 27% over the average. We also had a CGC 6.5 sale for only 150 bucks, up a crazy 32% over that average. I remember about a year and a half ago, you can go out and get like an 8.0 grade for around 60 bucks. Now, all of a sudden you have to pay three hundred dollars hell no not worth it again i said it last week this is the type of character that james gunn is really going to succeed with so you never know i just don't want to spend the money on it i say if you want to own the book go ahead buy a lower grade i don't want to spend any more than 100 120 bucks that's it coming in at number three this week is a book i'd never think i'd see on this list again it is a copy of shazam number one and the first appearance of captain marvel since the golden age and a CGC 9.8 just sold last week for 800 bucks, up 5% over the average. Man, I can't believe someone actually out there paid $800 for a 9.8 copy of this book. It is everywhere. You can go out and get probably around a 6070 raw copy for around 50 to 60 bucks. I don't want to shell it anywhere near that kind of money for a high grade copy of this one. Again, I enjoy the character, I enjoy the movies that they put out surrounding this character but it's just way too much money to spend on this book oh my god at the two spot it is what else omega men number three and the first appearance of lobo and a cgc 9.8 just sold last week for only 355 bucks up six percent over the average down a hundred dollars from the last high sale we had at 450 bucks if you guys haven't checked out my last ebay sales video make sure you do because i go over this book and told you what we should be paying for this book from day one i said 300 to 350 is where we want to be at a 9.8 copy of this book and that's where it's settling at right now either way i'm not a buyer anymore too many copies have exchanged hands it is just not worth it stay the hell away and at the top spot this week a new number one it is a copy of wolverine number one and the first cameo appearance of yukio and of course this iconic cover by the great frank miller the limited series by the way in a cgc 9.8 just sold last week for 797 dollars up eight percent over the average now i've talked about this book before i love the cover i want to own the book it's a classic one we should all have in our collections but i'm not spending 800 dollars on a 9.8 copy of this book i want to spend about 100 120 bucks max of 200 dollars for a super high grade if you want to only it's not an investment book not something i need to absolutely have in the collection but it's a cool looking cover and i do know why people want to own it Hope you guys enjoyed this week's list. Like I said, not a lot of great books that I'd be investing in or even buying right now for the collection. There was no best buy of the week because I didn't give any book a thumbs up. However, I will say this. If you had to pick something, I would definitely go after Batman Adventures number 12. It's a first appearance. It's a really popular character, a hot book, only in a 9.8. But I'm actually telling you right now, I'm not a huge fan of this book. But hey, if you want to go ahead and own it, buy in a 9.8. I don't think it's a bad investment at all. Just do your due diligence. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Become a member if you're interested. And I'll talk to you guys soon.